Welcome back everyone. You might be in a weird situation, it might seem like, where for some reason your iPhone is stuck on preparing for update or preparing update. Now this doesn't happen to me every time I update my device for a prolonged period of time, but it happens to me almost every single time I update the device. So, so sometimes it might seem like it's stuck on preparing update and it will eventually trigger through. So that's a humongous thing to keep in mind. At some point, it might just go and you know follow through and just eventually finish this through. Now I know the screenshot is very weird, and this usually happens just because you know it's preparing for the update. There's really nothing wrong with your phone or your internet connection or whatever most of the time. It's really just getting those files together to go and update your device. Now recently when I was going and pushing the update for iOS 14 on all my devices, I was literally running into this issue on all my phones and it was the most annoying thing ever. The process to download the software wasn't even as long as the preparing for update. So it would take like half an hour to download the software. I would literally be stuck on this you know, page for like an hour to an hour and a half. Now the reason this happens most of the time is just because it's a big update, it's gotta get those files ready and you just gotta go from there. But there were some cases with, out of the like 10 phones I updated to iOS 14, two of them were stuck on there even after all my ones where I was done with the videos for those. And if that happens, all you have to do is follow this specific case. If you let it sit for like an hour or two and it's still not done, what you can do is make your way over to your settings page. You wanna go down to your iPhone storage, which is in general. So you wanna hit general. You wanna go down to iPhone storage, which is right here. And you'll see all these different types of things. Okay, it'll eventually go through. And somewhere, okay, you probably won't necessarily see it in mine, but you will see a little update thing that says like iOS 13.5 download or iOS 14 or whenever you're watching this video, you'll see that little, you know, icon that'll say like iOS 14, iOS 13 download. And you just want to find it. Usually it's going to be the top ones because it's a pretty big update. You want to find it, click on it, and you want to click delete update or delete memory delete, whatever it says. You just want to delete that. And like I said, I don't think I have an update here downloaded, but you just want to delete that update. And once you do, you want to totally reboot your phone. So if you don't know how to reboot your phone, if you're on iPhone 10 or whatever, hold down the volume up and the power button. If you're on an iPhone 8 or whatever, you can just hold down the power button and go from there. And at some point, you should be able to go back to your home screen, which is this once you reboot it, go through, and you need to just go and download the update again. So you want to go in your update, you want to go down into general, which is right here. You want to go down to software update, which is right here. And you just need to update your device like I just stated. Now here I'm on iOS 14 beta, so I don't have an update. And then from there, you just need to go and, you know, wait for the update after it's done preparing for update and see what happens. Most of the time, that nine times out of 10, that's what fixes it. For my specific devices, that's what I had to do in order to get through that hurdle. And it's a really, it's not that big of a process, but it's just kind of an annoying thing. It's just kind of like a block in the road. And then once you're done with that, you should be able to fully update through. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate if you guys to check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.